Hello, 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 my beloved learners in our geometry class. And this week, we will start topic two, parallel and perpendicular lines. So in parallel and perpendicular lines, the essential questions is what properties are specific to parallel lines or perpendicular lines? What vocabulary do we have? We have flow proof and all the overview, we'll go through them in a while. Lesson two one is about parallel lines. Let's see what's the essential question here. What angle relationships are created when parallel lines are intersected by a transversal? What does that mean? We'll go through all of that in details. Here, you can see that the diagram shows two parallel lines cut by a transversal. <clears throat> These are the two parallel lines, and this is the transversal. Look how whenever I move the lines, the angles are formed here. One, I have three, two, and four, five and eight, six and seven, or four and six. All of these have specific names that we will learn, like two and four are called vertical angles, one and two are called linear pairs, two and five are same side, uh, I mean corresponding angles, three and five are same side interior angles. For all of these angles, they have specific naming and specific Measurement. One example is the same side interior angle postulate. If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, then same side interior angles are supplementary. What do we mean by supplementary? They add up to 180. Look here how I will change the reading and they will always be what supplementary. They will always add up to 180, 150, and 30 is equal to 180. Another one is the alternate interior angle theorem. They alternate on the transversal and they are interior and in, within the lines. Like here, alternate is for the transversal the second word is interior because both of them are inside the lines. So they will always measure the same amount. What does the theorem state? If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, when the alternate interior angles are congruent. Let's see the concept summary. Here we have like four relations that we need to go through in details. And then we will practice and practice and practice. I always <clears throat> tell you that practicing is the key to success. In math, math is a skill. The more you practice it, the more you get it. So we will cover many questions in which we will evaluate what we have understood from the book, from other resources, you have also on the BC. And we will get through this easily. Have a good studying. Bye-bye.